Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Inx Laura123 and this is going to be a spend the day with me vlog. So today is Monday and oh this is a bit of a bumpy ride into work. Um, yeah just on the way to work but I am going to nip out for like 20 minutes because um, I need to go to Boots. I need to get my saline spray for my nose. Um, my hay fever is just like so bad um, and I've run out so I need to get a new one of those um, and yeah oh, yes. oh my mum's sneezing as well bless you so yes that is the plan um, I don't know what I'm doing the rest of the day so you'll have to <laughs> you'll have to watch to find out uh, if you do, if you do enjoy watching the video please click like comment share subscribe oh and smash the notification bell to all notifications <laughs> this is there's so many like what they call speed bumps on the road oh and we're going again oh it's like a really horrible roller coaster um i do need to get wilma a plant today from the fish shop because she, oh, she's uh she's been eating her plant which is a good thing because recently the plants we've been getting her she hadn't been eating at all so um they're good for her and she's been eating this one so much that it's pretty much gone so i'm gonna get a new plant today um trying to think I don't know I've got editing to do as ever um, reading as ever it's pretty much gonna be the same sort of thing really um, oh and tonight we've got to do all the packing for eBay things that had sold yesterday have got to be all packed up so yeah a bit of a busy day but a nice day it's a heat wave here at the moment here in the UK which is just awful and I hate the hot weather as I always go on about um, you will hear me moaning about this all summer. I hate the weather, I hate the weather, I hate the weather. But it's really, really hot today. It's supposed to be the hottest day. Actually, I think my dad on the phone, I spoke to him last night, said that Sunday, next Sunday, is supposed to be the hottest day. Like, ugh. Just, I don't know. It's just horrible. I don't know if anyone likes this weather. It's bizarre. It's, it's just horrible. It's too hot. It's too hot. Anyway, enjoy the video and, uh, I'll see you in a bit there's another speed bump coming up and think oh somewhere around here yeah. anyway see you in a bit okay so i'm just walking to boots which is over here i am very sad i just went in here mcdonald's and i'm sad because they don't have the pineapple and mango ice drink. They've got the other flavours, which I don't like, uh, but they haven't got that one. <laughs> so I was like, okay, don't worry about it. Um, I just really fancied one. It's so hot, and I thought, I'm going into work, have a nice, you know, cold, fruity, iced drink. But no, they don't have it. They don't have it. Anyway, um, so yeah, went into Poundland, got Nathan a sandwich. I didn't film in there because last time I filmed in the Royals, I got in trouble in the shopping centre. So I was a good girl and didn't film. But yeah, I've got him um, bacon and egg sandwich. I've got also this book right here because, you know, he's an adult. <laughs> it's Pokemon Search and Find. Welcome to Aloha. Is it how you say it? Aloha? Um, yeah, I just saw that there and I was like, it's Pokemon, he loves Pokemon. Um, also, I got myself some razors and I got my mum some Ibu Leave gel because she's um, complaining of achy feet and she thinks it will help. I don't know if it will, but I went and got it for anyway while I was in boots. So I'm just about to head into the Lloyd's Bank. Big old step here. Always have to be careful of this step. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm in the office now and I've just turned on my laptop, so uh, waiting for that to do its thing. And I've made mummy a cup of tea. There you go, cup of tea for you. Oh, thank you, darling. Want it down there, yeah? Okay. We're testing it. Just finished work into fishy business to get Wilma a new plant. Let's see what we got. She liked those pink ones. 
like pink leaves. So we've got that one there, and we've got that one. Oh, that's nice. That's very pink. I'm gonna ask for that one. Oh, it hasn't got a basket with it. Right, that one has got a basket. So even though the leaves are prettier here, um, mind you, that is nice, isn't it? I'll get that one. It'll still, you know, be okay, but they're just better when they've got a basket, but that'll be all right. Right, let's go and get it. So hearing that we're open longer and longer. Getting busier. Good, good, good. Okay, so I have decided to do some charity shop shopping, which is probably a really stupid idea because it is so hot. Um, so I'm going to try and be as quick as I can, just go around the shops, do my thing, and then I can get back because um, it's very very hot I would say it's probably the hottest day of the year so far and apparently it's gonna get worse great um, so yes come join me whilst at our charity shop don't forget I'm looking for stuff for myself and also for eBay as well so let's do it care for a bit of golf oh, apparently this one is uh, for a nice lady golfer <laughs> Okay, there we go. My dad used to play golf, random fact, but a true fact, he used to go and play golf. Right, let's look at this uh, pound row here. Anything of excitement? There's a little Peppa Pig dress here. <laughs> so cute. Bye. The little uh, rainbows on and stuff. But it's got a few stains on it here and there that might not come off in the wash, so I'm not going to risk that this jacket there right in we go cozy Very sparkly. looks good I've heard of this one 10,000 doors of January by Alex oh I've read Alex E. Harrow I think it was a witchy themed book I hope this is a standalone and not um, a series but I have heard of it pretty cover and I think uh, 30p paperbacks boom All right, so the good thing is I've got some bits for eBay and for myself. The bad thing is it's really heavy. Now I have to walk around with two heavy bags of stuff. Uh, I've got some stuff for myself and some stuff for eBay, which is good. And I'm just going to go into another charity shop now. So this is the Southend Insight charity shop. Um, loving their window display. They always have really nice displays. They've gone with the pride theme uh, of their window display. So uh, let me show you. This is pretty cool. All the clothes are like rainbowed. I don't know if you can see because it's so sunny, but take my word for it. <laughs> it's all rainbow themed. All the colours of the rainbow in different clothing. And look, down here we've got some really cool dolls who are looking very happy and chilling out. Love that. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. And by the way, talking about uh, Southend Pride, I'm going on Saturday. I'm very excited. It's my first Pride. Um, a bit nervous because I'm going on my own and there's going to be loads of people. But really excited. I am part of the community. I am bisexual. Uh, I come out when I was like a teenager and stuff. So if you didn't know, you know now. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm very proud to be who I am and my sexuality and stuff. So it's, it's going to be good. 
and I'll be vlogging it so that'll be really cool get some footage anyway I'm gonna go in the shop because I am melting out here I need to you know do these few shops and then get home my face is getting redder by the second it's not good um, managed to get a couple of tops for eBay so I'm gonna head home now um, I've spent me the money that I have um, allocated for like my eBay spending so um, I don't think I went over I might have gone over a little bit but not much I've got my bottle of water out and uh, yeah I'm just literally getting redder and redder and hotter and hotter by the second so I'm going home I'm gonna get in a nice cold shower and just chill for a little bit and um, trying to think I've got some bits and pieces to do but I really want to just uh, get in that shower first cool completely down and then uh, you know just get on with what I've got to do but yeah it's just gotten hotter in like 10 minutes I come out of the first charity shop the Samaritans come out and just felt like ugh, worse so I'm just trying to walk as fast as I can, holding these blooming heavy bags just to kind of get in and get home. So, yeah. I don't know why no one else's face looks bright red like mine. I'm like, why? Why is it just me? <laughs> to be fair though, I'm very pale skinned. So uh, I'm like a ghost. So I suppose whenever there's a bit of heat, my face will go a bit red. But it is what it is. <sighs> but uh, anyway, right, I was <laughs> sorry, I'm just walking along rambling to you, which you're used to, but uh, you know, it's probably quite boring. <laughs> I've got to leave my uh, my friend Lisa some voice notes, so um, I might do that. We leave each other like voice notes on Facebook Messenger, just kind of chat to each other in messages and. So I'll leave some, she'll listen to them, she'll leave some back and I'll listen to hers, that kind of thing. Oh, there's a picture above my head. <laughs> okay, I need to get made for a drink, but I'll go in the shop near a home, so I've got to carry something else. Everything that weighs up is not going to be good. I've got some cool stuff though, I hope. Uh, <laughs> it's weird, like, I haven't even had to go in the other shops. It's already spent their money. So I allocate like 40 quid a week for eBay. Um, just so, you know, I don't kind of... Because back in the day when I was doing eBay, I forgot what I'd spent out on things. And then when everything's sold, I couldn't kind of work out if I'd made profit, if I've lost, stay the same. So this way, I know that anything above 40 <coughs> is... Uh, you know, a, a profit. I forgot what I was saying then. I was like, oh, it's the heat, it's the heat. I don't know, those people are looking a bit red. He looks very red. <laughs> it's just me. I look mighty red. Red in the face. Anyway, right, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Whew, I'm at home now. Um, had a shower, hence my wet hair. Um, ice cold shower. I literally put it on the coldest setting and just stood there like, oh. Um, my face is still quite red, but I don't think it's as, well, I don't know. I was going to say it's not as red as it was, but I, yeah, it might be. Especially like here. Anyway, <laughs> I said to uh, Nathan, I'm not going out the rest of the week. I'm literally going to stay in every day until it gets cooler. Um, now, obviously, I have to go out, but if I do have to go out, I'll try and do it early and not this time. I think lunchtime was the most stupidest time to go. It's the hottest time of day. But it is what it is. So I'm in now. I've had a nice shower. As I say, I'm just going to have something to eat. Uh, I'm not particularly that hungry, but I know I need to eat because I haven't really eaten much today. So I'm going to have something to eat and then head upstairs where I will do um, the little haul just to show you uh, what I've got in the charity shops. I've got some nice stuff for the eBay um, and possibly, and I say possibly, possibly a dress for myself, which is really nice. But if it doesn't fit, that'll be going on eBay as well. Um, so yeah just gonna do some YouTube work I'm always working hard I work hard um, 
yeah so as you can see the time is 405 so I'm going to turn this on properly get started and I've got editing to do so um, the vlog that I did yesterday has got to all be edited so that'll take a while um, and I'll just make sure I've not you know not missed any comments that need replying to and stuff like that and I have scheduled a video tonight already so that goes on on the ASMR channel tonight um, about 10 o'clock or 10 15 something like that um, and the vlog channel a video went on this morning as well so I'm all done for that this is just gonna be kind of sitting editing basically get that done I will be doing some filming today I've just repainted my nails because they were starting to chip a little bit so I quickly went over the green um, but I need to charge my phone up first so I'm gonna do some editing charge my phone whilst my phone is charging I have my book to read this is it ends with us by Colleen Hoover um, if you are a regular viewer you'll know that I'm a little bit obsessed with Colleen Hoover books <laughs> this is my third I think or fourth I can't remember but yeah I'm really liking her books like her writing style is so good but the main thing I like about her books is the characters like I just really I don't know I end up caring about them and feeling something for the characters which is what I want from a book um, so I'm actually buddy reading this book at the moment with a lovely viewer of mine so um, when we get to like chapter 15 ish like halfway um, we're going to kind of discuss what we thought of the first half of the book so at the moment I'm only on chapter 8 so I'd like to get up halfway today um, which if I have a look this way around hold on mm, not too far ish I could do it today so yes I do a bit of reading and then yeah when everything's ready with the phone and it's charged a bit I will try and attempt at doing some uh, videos I've got one in mind that has been requested that I've completely forgot about doing um, it's called an Essex girl does your makeup ASMR roleplay and I've uh, got some ideas for it. it's gonna make it quite funny as well as relaxing so yeah let's do this so I'm just doing my editing as you can see it's taking ages and ages and ages this little green bar is literally not even halfway yet oh I don't know as I said that it moved an inch come on move along move along it's got to get to there obviously where it says stop so <sighs> just wait in and wait in and wait in and wait <laughs> The time is around seven o'clock. I have just been filming. It's very, very hot. Um, it's really, really hot. But yeah, I've been filming. I did two videos uh, for the ASMR channel. I did an Essex girl does your makeup role play, um, which was brilliant because you know I'm an Essex girl. But I tried to kind of, you know, add on the Essexness, if that's such a word. Probably not, but it is now. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed doing that. It's like a kind of parody, funny kind of, but relaxing, funny ASMR video. Um, and then I did another ASMR video with um, controller sounds because people like that. So I've got Nathan's spare Xbox One controller and this really cool little like pretend toy kind of play um, kids controller which I picked up in a charity shop the other day for like 90 pence. Um, it's really cool. It makes such like sensory nice sounds. Like, I love it. Clicky. Really nice. Anyway, so yeah, I filmed two videos. I was going to do a third um, but I'm just so hot. I'm literally melting and I'm filming in my mum's room um, And it's just yeah, I'm, I'm just way too, way too hot. I'm gonna have another shower in a minute as well I've had two showers already um, So I'm gonna hop in that cold shower. I'm not gonna wash my hair this time because I've already done that when I got in again um, But I'll just kind of stand in it make sure you know Cold skinned because at the moment my, my skin is very clammy and hot again um, oh, you know what I have got to do, which I completely forgot to do in everything, uh, is my little haul. So I'll do that now for you. Um, I need to tidy up a little bit in here as well because I have stuff everywhere. Um, you know what's really irritating me? I get a drink from the fridge. Mm. It's really cold. And then within like 10 minutes, it's gone warm again. Like it's, it's gone warm kind of thing. So irritating. I was having a chat with my dad about this yesterday on the phone. I was like, it's so annoying. I get a nice ice cold drink out the fridge. And within 10, 15 minutes, it just goes, you know, warm as it's so hot and stuff. Um, and he was saying I should get like a flask because obviously flasks will, you know, keep your drinks hot. But apparently they'll also keep them cold. So that's an idea. But yeah, also what we need to get, I think Nathan's doing the 
Are you doing the ice end order tonight, Bob? Yes, I am. Thank you. Yes, so he's doing the ice end order tonight, so we might order a bag of ice, but we need to make space in one of the freezer drawers for it. Um, because that way I could get a nice glass of like glass, pour my drink in and put ice cubes in. Because then when I bring it up here, hopefully it might keep it colder for longer. So these are dilemmas in my life. These are things that I <laughs> sit and ponder. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to tidy all these little bits and pieces up. Um, and then I'll uh, do the haul and show you um, what I got today for eBay. And I have a dress that I'm going to try on for myself. So we will see if it's disgusting or if it doesn't fit. I mean, it might be nice. Let's look at the positive. It might fit really well. Then that'll be great. Um, so yes, I'm going to get on with that. So I'll see you in a minute. Here is the haul. Yes, the shopping haul, which I was going to do earlier, but I forgot, but I'm doing it now. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is this. Now, this is really random, but I found this and it's a um, petal people. You make yourself little fairies. Um, that you can make yourself and it is brand spanking new with everything inside so it's like arts and crafts stuff however it's so rare um i'm looking online on ebay and they are selling for a lot of money this simple little make your own fairy thing like it's random you wouldn't think something like that would sell like amazing but it really is selling well now i say that no doubt i'll go to do it and it won't sell very well <laughs> but some of them have been selling for like 20 quid and stuff um, and people putting in um, the eBay listings like uh, rare. So I'm just going to put it as rare. Luckily, it's brand new as well, which is even better. So, yeah, I've got that. Also, these are just amazing. I really don't want to get rid of I might keep one for myself and sell the other. I'm not sure. Obviously, if I find that they sell really well, then I will sell them because I do need the cash, if I'm being honest. But I've never seen anything like them. Um, the lady in the shop as well was like, oh, they're really unusual. And I was like, yes, I'll have those. <laughs> but yeah, they're like, um, well, officially what they are, they're Dreamkeeper books. Um, I don't think this is real leather, but it really, I mean, it feels like it. It's not real leather, it's imitation leather. Um, I don't know how you can tell if something's real leather because I don't know, but it looks it looks real. Um, but it's like an embossed tree. And if you're a regular viewer, you'll know that I'm tree obsessed. Um, if I ever get another tattoo again, which maybe I will in the future, I do actually want a tree tattoo because I love trees that much. Um, so, yeah, these are just really weird. And you get a little bookmark in there as well um, with the, like the embossed tree. But they're a yeah, dream keeper. So, I mean, you could use it as a as a dream keeper. You wake up in the morning and you write your dreams down. Even the paper feels weird. Like it feels like really old i can't describe it so there's these two, and you've got this little as you can see this little lock so you can lock your dreams away i can't really do it with one hand but anyway so yeah that's how it would go on the other one um but yeah really weird and they were like two pound fifty each i thought i'd take a chance put them on ebay if they don't sell i would happily use them for something because they're just so amazing now i'm scratching it i'm like oh this would be nice for an asmr video so we'll see but yeah that is that um, I found this book for 30p, which uh, as you saw, The 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. This is one of those books that everyone raves about and I've never read it. Um, I don't think it's part of the series. I think it is a standalone. I have read another book from her um, and I wasn't that keen. So we will see. I'll give it a go because as I say for 30p and it's one of these books that everyone has raved about. It does sound pretty cool though, all these like mystery doors and stories and yeah, I don't know. It, it's got a good vibe, so I'm going to give it a go for 30 pence. Now, we have some clothing. I'm going to try some of these on. Number one, just for fun, because, you know, why not? And also, they might actually look all right. They might not. They might look disgusting. <laughs> but I saw this, like, play suit, um, but, like, a longer play suit. And it's, like, as you can see, like a, I don't know, green, would you say that? Yeah, like a greeny colour and white stripes. So they haven't actually got a size that just says 3XL, so... That's another reason why I want to try it on because I want to kind of see what it looks like on my body and then I can kind of size it roughly when I do the description if I do sell it, which I probably will end up selling it. Uh, uh, I'm doing the Worm's Eye View. Uh, sorry, Pippa, if you're watching. I love um, a channel called Worm's Eye View. My dear friend Pippa 
and uh, she has certain sayings that I have somehow adopted myself and she knows I do this. <laughs> I have apologised. It's because I watch her so much that I get it in my mind and I say it. So one of them is, uh, uh, anyhow, anywho. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is a really nice dress. I love this dress. Um, so it's just literally a black dress, but it's, I don't know, there's something about it. It's really nice and it's quite stretchy um, at the back as well. So I'm going to be trying this one on. Um, yeah, £6.50 that was. But where was it from? Oh, it's from Tesco's and it is a size 20. But um, it's just really, really nice. I could see that with some nice like sandals or, I don't know, even in like winter time, kind of goth it up with a cardigan or a jacket or something. I don't know. I just really like it. Whether it will like me is another story. <laughs> this dress here is for eBay. Um, trying to see where it's from. I can't remember. I need to get in that shower in a second. I'm literally melting. Oh, this is, yeah, size 22 from Simply B. So I always try and look for me eBay for the plus size clothing because they do sell better. Um, so this is nice. Actually, really nice dress. Um, like black and gold. Kind of floral, but kind of not. I don't know what shape that is. But anyway, yeah, so that's that's that. And then this is really weird. I, I quite like this, but I'm not going to keep it because it's a bit too big for me. But it is really cool. It's got like a kind of cosmic vibe. Um, do you know what? I might try it on just for fun. Why the hell not, right? Um, but yeah, it's this long dress, like a maxi dress. And it's got, yeah, like a spacey vibe. Um, I couldn't find like, a label on it. All I know is it says size 22. Um, so, I don't know. But I think that'll sell pretty well. Galaxy stuff is kind of in fashion. Um, I love Galaxy stuff. If that would have been a bit like shorter... I'd have been well up for keeping that. Um, this top here is from yours. And it's a size 30. 30, 32. Quite a smart sheer top. Like black, white and this kind of, um, I don't know what you call that, like claret. I call it claret. Like winey colour. Uh, that was a fiver from yours. It's getting roasting. I'm going to have to put that fan on, I think. Um, I couldn't have the fan on for ages because I was filming. This is a size 24. This costs £4. And I can't remember where it's from. I think it's from Next. Yeah, it's from Next. So that is good. Getting a size 24 from Next. That would have been well expensive. And if you look, not only has it got the little uh, flowers on it, it's got parrots. Oh, there's little parrots on it. So, um, yeah, it's different. Right, I think that's all for that bag. And then I've got one more dress here. This is from Primark. And this is a size 20. Oh, it's no. I didn't even notice the tags were on it. Well, that's even better. Originally £15. Things always sell better with the, the tags on when they're new, obviously. But it's very, you know, rare that you can find these new with tags. But I always look. But yeah, this is really pretty. Like a long maxi dress kind of thing. <sighs> so they are all the things I've got for eBay. Uh, in Poundland this morning, um, before I'd done my, my jobby job at work, I got Nathan this Pokemon search and find. Welcome to Alo Alola. Is that you say it? Uh, is that Ash? I'm trying to remember all the names. There's Mimikyu. Oh, we need to play Pokemon. It's been so long. Me and Nathan got... Well, Nathan's been a Pokemon fan since he was a kid. And he got me into it, like, I think it was last year or something. Like, and we started playing the game, and it was really cool. And then, I don't know, we kind of... Was, like, I got a bit obsessed, as I do, when I like something. OCD problems, hashtag. <laughs> hashtag OCD. So we kept playing it and playing it and playing it. And then he was like, oh, we need a little break from Pokemon. Um, and then the break kind of lasted and we still haven't played it. So, yeah, I think I, I'm hoping that I remember what to do again. I'm hoping it will just kind of come back to me. This is kind of like a Where's Wally, I think, but with um, Pokemon, maybe. I don't know. Is that it? I know it's for kids, by the way. I'm not stupid. But, you know, Nathan loves Pokemon and he, he'll enjoy this. We can play together and be a bit of couple bonding. Maybe. <laughs> and then I've got this uh, Corsidel mouthwash, um, which isn't very exciting to talk about, but my gums get really sore. My gums are really sore. So I have my um, Fresh Mint Corsidel. Um, I know some people don't like Corsidel, my mum included, but I think it's really good. It makes me, like, it makes them feel better and it helps my ulcers as well and stuff. So, um, and then I have got two, but one's fell on the floor, of these Bootsy's Zone um, Saline Nasal Sprays. And it clear and cleanses the nose. Uh, it says, rapidly decongest the nose from cold, sinusitis and hay fever. Um, and these are steroid and drug free. So they're all natural. It's just like basically salt water sprayed up your nose. Uh, which I will be doing tonight. Because my nose feels very like dry and kind of 
mm, it's horrible um so yeah and you only get a month i think i've wrote yeah that's the day the 11th of the 7th uh is the day that i opened it because you, you get a month from the day you open it to use it so i've got this box for this month and then like a spare one for um the cupboard for next month also got a couple of uh, boxes of paracetamol once again i think it's really exciting to talk about and some razors which yeah not also not exciting to talk about um so these are the big soliel solie soliel i don't know lady um and i'm hoping they're going to be a bit better quality than the ones i have been using because they're rubbish so there we go Whew. okay right i'm going to try some of these dresses on now so uh let's laugh let's laugh together of how stupid i look in them so I've got um, my phone on the um, selfie stick thing, so you can have a look. There we go. This is the black dress. Um, I actually really like it. I really like it. No, I really like it. I've gotten used to seeing myself in these kind of long dresses now. Um, I always used to have this paranoia that because I'm so short, four foot eleven, I can't wear long dresses. But I think we can. Us shortest can wear them. Um, hold on, I'll turn the camera around to me. Uh, hello um you can see i think it's really nice actually Ooh. yeah let's see it in the mirror then as well a bit see how long it is though it's like it's quite long but um i actually really like it and as i said to nathan it's not just for summer nathan was right and he said he liked it but um it's black and it's going to make me sweat even more in the summer it's quite thick cotton it doesn't feel like, you know, like the other dress I got the other week, the black dress, it was more thin cotton. This is quite thick. Um, so, yeah, if I was to go out in, the, like, in this weather or something wearing this, I would be sweating. But I think like, even for like, um, you know, winter or something with like a little jacket and some like boots. Yeah, it's like quite gothic -y. See, my old goth is coming back. When I was um, like a teenager at college, I was a goth. And I used to think I was a vampire. That's another story. But <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, I think there is still a part of me that is quite gothic. So yeah, I really, I really like that. It's nice. I think it's nice. Okay, I will keep this for myself. Okay. Galaxy time. <laughs> all right okay let me turn this around there we go ah. yeah i mean this <laughs> can't even like it's over my feet like there's my little feet is the ah get out I'm stuck in it yeah it's not i mean it's pretty cool if you were really tall <laughs> and not me it would look really cool it is and i think it will sell well i think it will sell quite good because it's so unusual and people like galaxy stuff but it's not for me no 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 yeah this doesn't <laughs> this doesn't work it's so weird because like i actually quite like the idea of a play suit jumpsuit thing um but i mean yeah, it's i mean look at this look at this look at the baggy legs then i said to nathan what about if i shortened it but then look at the belly it's kind of mm. to be fair though i could wear it with like some pulling pants or something but i have to say it does feel comfy it just looks disgusting, <laughs> which is not a good look. Um, but I really like this colour on me, actually. This green looks quite cool. Um, anyway, yes, this was going on eBay. Wilma, oh Wilma, you are the best goldfish in the world. Wilma. Oh, she doesn't like my singing. Wilma. Wilma, oh Wilma, you are the best goldfish in the world. Yes, you. <laughs> yes, you. Oh, Wilma, you are the best goldfish in the world. I've wrote a song for you because you are the best goldfish in oh, the world. She's gone. She's just not interested. Do you want some dinner? That she wants. She don't want me singing, but she wants me dinner. Do you want dinner? Do you want dinner? Do you want these fish flakes? Do you want these? Do you want these? Okay. There we go. We are just going out into the garden. The time is quarter to nine. Um, just before we do the eBay parcel packing up thing. Oh, uh, what fun. Ah! Oh, it's going over here. Um, <laughs> we're going to bring in the washing and also take out this uh, water for the birdies. 
but most of it's going on the floor of my hand. Oh, and on the carpet. <laughs> Time to get outside, there'll be nothing for the birds. I've got to be really careful. Oh, I can hear the church bells from Prittlewell Church. I like the sound of church bells. And here we have a minx Laura in her natural habitat doing eBay. Look at her hard at work. Oh, these irritate me. These, these things, these sticky Plasticky things. things. And because we've got the fan on, it sticks even more to you. It's sticking to me even more. Good day to you. Good day to you. So, the time is five past ten and I'm going to end the vlog now. I am very hot and very tired. Uh, <laughs> I still haven't eaten my dinner, which is due any minute, so that's alright. It's been in the oven um, because we have to do all the eBay packing, which is now done. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Please click like, comment, share, subscribe. Smash that notification bell to all notifications. Don't forget... Down below is the link to um, my other channel, minxlaw 123 smr Also, uh, all my social media, Instagram, TikTok. I've gone. Twitter. Twitter. There we go. Goodreads Throne. And Throne. Yeah, good treat, reads if you're a bookworm. minxlaw 123 to a fan to call her down. Look at how she is. <laughs> I mean, it's my face she, is she red. Can it's barely, she can barely function. She's so hot. If it gets any hotter, she might not make any videos. I nearly hot. didn't film today. But yeah, hot. I have a thrown wish list. Oh, we know what we didn't bring down. One of Nathan's gifts turned up. Uh, someone got him a lovely gift of a Pokemon mystery box. Yeah, a mini mystery box. Yeah, it's so cute. He got different cards, which you didn't have any of them cards. Well, yeah, quite a few of them I didn't yeah. have, yeah. They were like newer the newer sets. sets. Yeah. He didn't have them. Um, so yeah, there was mystery Pokemon cards in it. There was two coins that you didn't have. No. Um, like a little case thing that you didn't yeah. have. It was pretty cool, wasn't it? There's yeah. quite a lot of cards in there. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Nathan got a gift. Da, 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 da. So yeah, throne. Wish list down below. There is one thing I've added. You haven't even seen the new stuff I've added. I'm so desperate for it. What is it? If anyone gets me this, what I'm going to tell you, I will... <clears throat> I don't know what I'll do. I'll do a dance. you do a dance. Not a ooh-la-la -la dance, just, just a, a dance. stupid dance. Yeah. yeah. It's a bed, a, a duvet for our bed. Yeah. Duvet cover and pillowcases with books all over it, like antique old-fashioned books. Oh, that sounds cool. Now, it's really nice. I'll show you. So it's on my wish list, and it's on the featured bit. So it's like... It stands out because that's, that's the one I want the most. The one yeah. you want the most. It's Actually, my I birthday think you want soon. The Dyson most. <laughs> no one's going to buy me that Dyson no. fan. Unless they'd won the lottery. And, if they win the know. lottery, I'd hope one of them would buy you a Dyson Air Pure. Air fan, purified Dyson. Oh. Oh. You could breathe and you'd be cool. I can breathe. Yeah. Because our one that we've got, I don't know how old that fan is in our bedroom. Very old. Yeah. And it, it just blows out the hot air. Yeah. Which is a bit pointless. So, yeah, if you want to treat me and spoil me or Nathan... Actually, you need to start adding some yeah. things back on the wish list. You can't even spoil Wilma at the moment because she's got nothing on there. No. Yeah, but someone <laughs> yeah. did buy a big old tub big of joint. flakes. Yeah. So I think she's sorted for a long while. Yeah. But, yeah. So thank you for watching. Sorry I look so exhausted and this is a bad angle for the double chin, but I don't care. Um, but yeah, so we're going to watch a bit of TV, have some dinner, um, and I'm just going to try and finish Colleen Hoover book. It's very, very good. Um, and then, yeah, just chill and, and bedtime. So thank you for watching. I'm not vlogging tomorrow, but I will be doing, uh, oh, that's what we've got to do, our Iceland order. order. Yes. So tomorrow when it turns up, I'll be doing the Iceland, uh, haul. Cool. Yeah, because we haven't done one for no. a while as a separate video, so watch out. Alright everyone, take care. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.